Well, Aeon Quest, episode one, Abduction. Yeah, uh, I came up with that name on the fly. When, the, when you had to submit your, your, your entry, I, I had no idea what I was gonna call it, and then I didn't really wanna waste any time, but the idea, Aeon, okay, a span of an enormous amount of time, thousands of years, uh, I, the idea was I wanted to take something that can traverse time, space, you know, I wanted to do history lessons, so definitely can do some time travel, uh, but it had to be about you know the STEM core, so science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, let's go science fiction. Of course, we can we can throw as much STEM into that idea as we can. Freedom, uh, it, it, you get to do whatever you want to do. Uh, I mean, there are limitations, but it, it's the main limitation is your own imagination. Uh, they give you so many great tools and. and and to be able to put that together in something that's not just a picture you've drawn or, or, or maybe a piece of clay you've modeled, now it's something people can get their hands on worldwide on the PlayStation Network and play the creations you made. So it's like an interactive piece of art. And that, that's what really grasps me. You can be as creative as you want to be and people can appreciate it from all walks of life. With video games, there's you're, you're scored. Okay, you're gonna have a top score if you make that available in your level. Uh, for a little bit kind of planning, for example, uh, yes, there's a, a ranking system, first through however many people have played it. So you can always come back and try and beat your score. Uh, I have come up with a grading system where it's based on a C average, uh, trying to keep it somewhat like a classroom. So if you get straight A's, you get the highest score. However, if you get less than a C average, you end up, it says fail. I hate to say that people fail, but yes, you fail, but you can come back and try again. That, I, I would hope that brings an element of replayability. So yes, you can ace all of the, uh, the math ma mathematics and the, the geometry, but if you fail the, the, the platforming and the combat, it's still gonna affect your overall score. So you have to be, good at everything within the level. I, I think people like to be rewarded for what they do. Uh, everyone wants to pass. So if they go through the first time and it's challenging, yes, they, they might fail. But at the same time, they're saying, oh no, I can pass this. Oh, I'm coming back to this. This, this is something I'm gonna do. I can't walk away with this with, with a fail on my record. So they wanna get on that scoreboard. They're gonna wanna come back and do the thing. I'll speak from experience on how to engage to learn. I was not a good student in school. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I spent my most of my time in school drawing pictures on the homework I was turning in, hoping that the teacher liked the picture enough to give me a decent enough grade to pass. So uh, not exactly something I, I would say you should do yourself. Uh, but the reason why I was doing that is because the teachers didn't hold my attention. I, I love to learn now. I'm a sponge, teach me something, I'll learn it. But at that age, attention spans are short for a lot of children. They need to be actively engaged. They wanna be able to play the lesson. They want something that's gonna be visually appealing and have a storyline that they can really get into. It's almost like comic books or movies or video games. These are things they want to be a part of and if it teaches them along the way, I mean, they're going to wanna soak it up. I have thinking around an eight level series, maybe more if I get more ambitious with it. Um, but each of these different levels, there are different planets, different environments you go into, are gonna be sort of a lesson in themselves. So one might be strictly about geometry or physics, or you know, it could be some sort of uh, memory game, or maybe even the, the table of elements. There's so many different lessons you can teach. It's not meant to teach you exactly how these things work, but more test your knowledge and what you've learned in the classroom and apply it to the game. So if you've paid attention in the class, you're gonna excel at these levels. You, you take a platform like a Little Big Planet and you allow people to create lessons or uh, pr promote social awareness. Oh, no, it, the direction we're going in is a positive one. Now no longer are video games going to be looked at as a sort of a hindrance to a child's learning. No, they're gonna go home or be in, in class playing a video game and getting knowledge. I, I think that we're heading in the right direction.